Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, I show you how to transfer the pictures from your phone to your computer with your USB cable. Let's check it out. Also, if you are new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button. We do new videos every Tuesdays and every Thursdays. A lot of how to's, a lot of tutorials, videos just like this one. So be sure to check them out. So before we start today's video, we're going to want three things. Of course, we want the device that you're wanting to get your photos from to transfer to the computer. You're going to want a USB cable that fits that device, whether it be USB mini, USB micro, lightning, uh, lightning port, uh, or USB-C. And then, of course, you're going to want to have access to a USB port, whether it's on the front of the computer or on the rear of the computer. So I've got my device plugged in here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the little file icon down here. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up the my device or my computer. And you'll notice right here, it says devices and drives. You'll want to click on your device. You may have yours named. In this case, I do not. So I'm just going to left click on there, double left click on this. It's going to open up a file. Now you can have one of two options in here. If you have your photos saving to an SD card, you're going to have an option that says SD card. You'll want to go in there. Uh, in this case, I have the photos saved to the internal storage on the on the uh, on this case. In this case, it's a tablet, but it works the same way as a phone. So I'm going to click into internal storage. In here, you're going to want to look for a file called DCIM. And also, this folder will also be located in the SD card. If you're having your photos saved to the SD card, you'll have the same folder. DCIM stands for digital camera image. So you want to double left click on that. And then typically, you'll want to go to the icon that says camera or the uh, yeah, the folder that says camera, this is where all of your files or your photos and videos are actually being saved. What we're going to want to do before we proceed here is go in and find out where we want to actually save these pictures and videos to. Uh, in this case, on the left hand side, you do have a pictures option. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to drag them over to that. You can go into that pictures option and then if you right click, you can create new folder and create a new folder if you want it like a name for a vacation trip or a date. You can copy them into there, but the process will be the same. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on camera. I've got two images in here and all you're going to have to do is if you want to back up all of them or you want to sync all of them to your computer, you can hit the command control A, so CTRL and then the letter A is in alpha. And what that's going to do is it's going to highlight all of them. And then what you can do is if you want to select individuals, you can just hold control and then click the individual ones that you want to select over. Either way, after you have what you want selected in this case, so if I do control A, you'll notice it's going to select all of them. And then if I just hold control and click each one, I can individually click the ones that I want to. So in this case, I'm just going to back up all of them. So I'm going to hit control A and then I'm going to left click and hold and drag them on down to the pictures. You'll notice a little pop up will come up and says copy to pictures. When you hover over that, it will give you a breakdown of the folders that are in the pictures area. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and save them to the, uh, the picture so I can just let go of the mouse right where it says copy to pictures. And what that's going to do is it's going to copy them over. Now, usually if you have a ton of photos, you'll get a little bar showing a progress of copy. Since there was only two files in this case, it was a very quick, a very instant transfer. If you do have any other questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section right below. I'll be more than happy to answer those if you are confused about something. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip video. Hopefully now you know how to transfer all of your photos over to your computer with your USB cable. If you know somebody that could watch this video, give it a like, share this video to them. Once again, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other videos over there on the left hand side. We'll see you next time.